Nice to see you. I'm out and about in my marvellous Make-A-Mobile. And the great thing about my Make-A-Mobile is that it can go anywhere. Oh! Toki here. We need make a message. Hello, I'm Kate. Hello, Kate. Can I help you today? Yes, please, Mr. Maker. I'll be there very soon. Can I help you today, then? What can we do with these old lids? Well, that is a good question. There are lots of lovely lids in here. But what could we do with them? Let's have a think. Hmm. We could build a lid tower. But make sure you build it somewhere flat. Or we could make a lid hat. But it might be a bit tricky to keep on your head. Or you could even make some lid trousers. But they're quite noisy and not very comfy. Hmm. Oh, sorry about that, Kate. I think I got a little bit carried away there. But don't worry. These lids have just given me a great idea. Let's try something. Use up your leftover lids to make a lovely lid picture. Let's, Let's make, make it. it! But first, Kate, we'll need somewhere to make it. Ooh. <laughs> and we'll also need some things from the doodle drawers. A large sheet of card. A paper plate. Now, where would that be? Scraps will know. Oh, scraps! That cake looks delicious, thank you. <laughs> I'll save that for my tea later. But for now, this paper plate is just what we need. <laughs> Thanks, scraps! <laughs> and we'll also need some gloopy PVA glue. So then, Kate, we're going to use all of these old lids to make a lovely picture, a little bit like this one here. Fantastic! So, are you ready? Yes. Great! Are you ready? Brilliant. Let's get making. Now, I can't wait to see how this is going to turn out, because different lids make different pictures. The first thing we need to do, though, is to get our background card. Now, you can choose whatever colour you like for this, but I think gold will look rather nice. There we go. Now, Kate, you can help me now, because we need to get our glue ready. So here's a paper plate. Can you take this gloopy glue and give it a good squeeze in the middle there, please? That's it. Keep going. A bit more. Well done. That's brilliant. Thank you, Kate. Now for the fun part. Can you choose me a lid, please? Which one are you going to go for? Ah, that one. Excellent choice. Now dip it into the glue. That's perfect. Well done. And then I'm going to put it onto the card. Brilliant! Let's choose another one. What do you think then, Kate? Ah, yes, the big yellow one. Right, dip that in as well. That's great. All right, I'll take that from you now. There we go. And then we'll stick it on the card. Fantastic! Right, let's choose one more. What do you think? Ah, yes, the blue one. An excellent choice. <laughs> right, dip it in the glue. 
That's it. Well done. <laughs> that is gloopy. And I can stick it down. Brilliant. Now keep going until you're happy with your lid picture. And don't forget that you can build your picture up by sticking some of the lids on top of each other, like this. And when the glue is dry, you can hang up or stand up your picture wherever you like. Lid pictures are easy to make and they look great. Here are some other ideas you could try too. This one has got lots of colourful lids arranged in a rectangle pattern. Or what about this brilliant orange flower pattern? It's made from different size lids that are all the same colour. So what do you think of our lid picture then, Kate? I think it's good. We made it! And now your home is where the art is. High five! What a fantastic lid picture. Well done, Kate. Goodbye. <sighs> it's brilliant being out and about in the Makermobile. There's always so much to see and do. And... What's that noise? Oh, who could it be? Hiding in the squares. Can you guess? Any ideas yet? What could it be? It's a castle. Well done, Shapes. It's time to get back in the doodle drawers. <laughs> Oh, it's such a brilliant day for a lovely drive out in the Makermobile. Yeah. <laughs> oh. time. Hey, it's Minute Make Time. I'm on my way. <laughs> I've arrived. <laughs> It's Minute Me time, everyone! Yeah! Yeah, that's right! And today we're going to make something... Uh, uh, oh! Oh! It's the lovely sound of birdsong. Uh, I wonder where that's coming from? Oh, of course! From my cake case creature! Oh, fantastic! Now, to make one of these, you will need... some sticky tape... a glue stick... A triangle of coloured paper, a straw, a paper cake case, some scissors, and we'll also need some googly eyes. Now you can find them in an art and craft shop. I'll be back very soon. Ooh, I've got them. Right, here are our googly eyes. Now, do you think it's possible to make this cake case creature in just one minute? No way! Oh, well, I think I can. I'm going to have to be very quick. But don't worry, I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Are you ready? Yes! Are you ready? Great! Let's make it in a minute! Three, two, one! Start the clock! 
Right, let's grab our paper cake case and very carefully make four snips with our scissors. Now, you need to be careful when you use scissors because they are... Yeah! That's right. Now, these flaps are going to help us make the shape of our bird. There we go. It's taking shape already. Now, we need to make some more snips to make the head of the bird. Let's go across there like that. Here we go. And across there like that. There we are. Now let's get some glue and glue on our eyes. Here we go. Let's stick on one googly eye there and another googly eye on there. There we go. Now our bird needs a beak, so let's glue on that as well. There we go. And now we need to get some sticky tape on our straw like this. And we've just about got enough time to make our cake case creature. <laughs> and if you've got more than a minute, you can make all sorts of cake case creatures. What about a bird made with a silver cake case? Or this bee made with a yellow cake case and a stripy paper body? Or you could even make a turtle using a green cake case and orange paper. Cake case creatures made in a minute. Why don't you have a go? Here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Make four cuts into a cake case like this. Then cut out a head shape from one of the flaps. Stick on googly eyes and a paper beak. Tape the cake case onto a straw and your cake case creature is finished. Why don't you try and make a cake case creature in just a minute? Right, moustache everyone, goodbye! Ah! Oh, I love driving the make mobile Where should we go to next? <laughs> oh. Hello, Mr. Maker. Oh, nice to see you. Can you guess what we're making today? What are they going to make? And dark blue. I'm yellow. I am red. I am green. I am grey. Well done, everyone. See you soon. Now watch this. Hello. Are you ready for a big surprise? <laughs> These mini makers have no idea what their surprise is going to be or what we're going to make. Hello. Hey, Mr. Maker. Hello, Mr. Maker. Hello. Oh, it's great to meet you. Now, do you like going to the beach? Yeah. Brilliant! So do I! <laughs> oh! Hang on, wait! Do you know, I just had a big idea. I think we should make the seaside come to us. So, will you help me? Yeah. Fantastic! All right then, Daniel, Dominic, Thomas, Sangeeta and Amy, let's make it! Right then everyone, we're going to make the seaside come to us. So what do you think we should make? The sea. The sea? That's a good idea. Now the sea is what colour? Blue. Blue, brilliant. Red. And the sand, what colour's the sand? Yellow. Yellow. So we've got blue and yellow at our seaside. Now what other things do you see at the seaside? Crabs. What colour would the crab be? Orange. <laughs> That's great. But well, do you know what? I think we're ready to make our seaside, don't you? Yeah. All right, then, everyone, let's jump up and let's make it. Let's go this way. Come on. I am painting this. Side. 
OK, everyone, it's time to paint our beach hut. It is, isn't it? We're making the door here, aren't we? A nice big red door. So then, how are we getting on with our roof here? We've nearly finished it. I've made a curtain. And let's not forget a rubber ring. And we'll need some waves. No, not those sorts of waves. We need some waves for our sea. So let's use blue chalk for that. <laughs> I think this is looking rather good, don't you, Sangeeta? We're having great fun making our big beach. So why don't you have a go making your own little bit of the seaside at home? Try making this brilliant mini beach hut. Make it, play with it, have fun with it. To make one, you will need boxes with sliding drawers, a glue stick, cardboard, a ruler, a pen, scissors, paint, and a paintbrush. First, glue all of your boxes together, but make sure the drawers are facing the same way, like this. Next, take the cardboard and draw a triangle-shaped roof, a square for a window, a rectangle for a door, and a circle for a rubber ring. And carefully cut them out. Then, glue these shapes to the side of the box that doesn't have the drawers on. When it's all dry, you can paint the beach hut bright seaside colours. What a lovely looking beach hut! And you can keep anything inside the drawers. Pencils, crayons or even seashells. It's very useful. What a wonderful way to make a mini beach hut. Talking of which, I wonder how our seaside's coming along. And now for the sand. And the sea. And a lovely blue sky. One more thing. Oh, well done, everyone. We made it! Yay! <laughs> oh, I do love to be beside the seaside. The smell of the sea. The sound of the waves. Mr Maker, time to go. That's it for now. My making time's over. But yours is just beginning. It's time to put the Makermobile back in its box. If you like making things, visit bbc.co.uk slash cbbs.